Hey Rail fans, this is Joe with the Broadway Limited Import Service Department and we've put together a video for you showing the three different hardware reset methods for a QSI quantum sound equipped engine. One method we have is the magnetic wand. This should have came with your engine and there is a magnet in the rounded end. Another design we have is the jumper method to reset the decoder. And the third method we have is the slider switch. On this particular model, it's located under the water hatch in the tender. As you can see, the switch is slid towards the coal bunker, and you can use a small tool to slide it in the opposite direction. Simply place it on the rails with the throttle down, throttle up, you'll hear the word reset, reset. like so, throttle down, and then before you put the tender hatch back on, that is before, and you put the switch back in its original position, replace the water hatch, and now you're back to factory default settings and DCC address 3. Now your decoder should be as it was straight from the factory. And so this brings us to our next reset method which is the jumper plug. It sits right on the board itself. With most of our models the shell can be removed by lifting up on the shell at the point in which the tether cable comes out of the tender. On some of our models, however, there will be two small screws in the middle or one screw on each of the four corners that would need to be removed before the shell can come off. Here is a jumper plug. It looks like a small rectangular piece of plastic sticking off of the board. It doesn't matter which way the jumper goes back on, but you'll see two small pins lifted off the board itself. And again, we place the tender on unpowered rails. We throttle up, reset. and there's our audible confirmation that the reset took place. Now it's time to put the jumper back on the two pins, and you can put the jumper back on either way, meaning it doesn't matter if you've flipped it around or you've changed the orientation of the jumper plug going onto the pins. And this brings us to the third method, the final method, uh, once again, to remove the shell on this model, you just lift up at the point where the tether cable comes out of the front of the tender and it just lifts right off. Once the shell is removed, we can see a small glass tube inside. This is the read relay switch and this is what you want the magnetic wand hovering over. Once you know where the read switch is located, you can do this with the shell on and you just want to hold the magnetic wand about a half inch to an inch above the glass tube, throttle up, reset, and you should hear that audible confirmation. Once again, the engine should now be set back to factory default settings and DCC address 3. So if you're running in DC and you're unable to perform a CV8 equals 8 reset, or if you're running in DCC and you're just not sure what your address is, these hardware reset methods are a great place to start for an unresponsive engine.